welcome back for part six of Castle Brokenhead Presents Let's Play Dragon Quest. You might be wondering why I'm starting from the title screen this episode, and it's because I feel like it. Um, there is no additional reason. Uh, there is nothing special about this episode whatsoever. Uh, we're just traveling to Remalder, like I said last time. It's the only thing I plan on doing, and there will be absolutely nothing for a variation on that. Uh, and if you thought there was going to be anything else, uh, I don't know why. I never said there would be. about that at all. Counter rate, folks. Nothing special going on. Just traveling through the swamp, which, as you remember, is two hit points each. We are going to heal uh, because we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to be weak. Now, we're going to light up the area. This is the very originally named Swamp Cave. Um, back to that uh, world-class originality and naming. Uh, there's not much to explore. This is just an undersea tunnel uh, to take you to the southern continent. Uh, the monsters are all monsters we've seen before. There's absolutely nothing special about this cave whatsoever. Uh, just a bunch of druids. I believe you can run into some magicians or scorpions. You know, uh, mostly druids, which, as you know, don't even have any special attacks or abilities. They are just useless. Um, although, you know, uh, we're taking a fair bit of damage. Not much, but, I mean, given that our heal spell doesn't use a whole lot, I'm just gonna heal for no particular reason. Hey, I wonder why they have the hallway uh, narrowed down to this one square. That doesn't make a whole lot of... What the hell is this? Why is there a dragon in front of me? I can't kill a fucking dragon! That's it, folks. That's it. The end of the game. There's no way I can win. Um, it's actually probable that I can't win. This is the monster that guards the princess. Uh, I know I've been overselling the misdirect that there was nothing going to happen. Uh, but the truth is, I have no idea uh, what is going to happen in this episode. We are going to fight this dragon, and maybe I'll beat it. I've beat it as low level as level 10 before. I've also been absolutely devastated by this thing at level 15. No idea. We're just going to give it a shot because we're going through. I'll tell you what I can about it. Uh, the green dragon has 65 hit points. It has an attack of 88, a defense of 74. Speed is 127, so it goes first. Uh, 110 gold if you beat it in 45 experience. Uh, it has a fiery breath attack that can just about take me out in one or two hits. Uh, the only chance of beating this thing is it is susceptible to sleep at a very, very low hit rate. All we can do is heal often and hope we get lucky with sleep. 
did not work. It's asleep. Alright, now we're gonna heal. Because literally a second hit would probably kill me. Uh, we want to be as full health. AD woke up again already. Oh, god damn, I'm nervous about this. And of course he woke up again. Uh, either he falls asleep or we die. So this is what happens when we die. Huh. So we're not going to go back and fight him. We actually are going to go to Romalder. Um, I apologize for that little detour. But uh, I, I wanted it to be as much a surprise uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the game as it was for those of us who played it back in 89. Uh, or, you know, in Japan, 86. So we, when we die, we come back to the castle and King Loric tells us, uh, Death should not have taken the broken head. I will give thee another chance to reach the next level, uh, thy experience points, blah, 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 now go. And I want you to take a quick look over at the amount of gold I have there. It's half. It's half the gold I had. Which is why, when we die, uh, on the original NES console, we would hit the reset button. Because this is a ROM, we reset this way. And now you know the real reason that I saved la at the end of last episode uh, was because I knew we were going to be taking that little experiment, uh, and that if I died, which I probably was going to, that we would be starting over from the beginning. It might be a lot of wasted footage because uh, now I get to walk all the way back over to Remalder. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually pause the gate, uh, my recording, uh, and I'll meet you back uh, at the Remalder Cave uh, or the uh, Swamp Cave, as it's uh, very originally called, and uh, we'll take it from there. Welcome back, folks. Uh, I know for you that was no time at all. For me, it actually, uh, I don't know, it took a little time, I guess. Uh, you can see I'm back at the Swamp Cave already, uh, as I said I would be. And so this time, we're going to go through it the right way. I should, I want you all to know that it is possible to learn this cave so well that you never have to spend a single magic point or torch to get through it. And you'll see why right now. After he dies. Uh, the Swamp Cave not only has the most original name of all time, uh, the most original name since uh, the Rock Mountain Cave, uh, it's a straight line. Uh, you can literally go all the way down, then when you hit a wall, go as far right as you can, then go as far down as you can, then as far right as you can, then as far down as you can, and then left, and that will take you to the stairs. Uh, and that's uh, how you get through the swamp cave without light. I didn't do it, but obviously I can. Um, if you need me to prove that, say so in the comments and I'll ignore you. <laughs> so we've now reached the southern continent. It's about to get exciting. We're going to check out the northern part of this here because uh, why not? We have a new monster. We have ourselves a wolf. Uh, the wolf has 34 hit points, uh, an attack of 40, defense 30, speed of 31, can give up to 45 gold and give 16 experience points. They have no special skills of any kind, 
but they're hard to kill, especially if you are under level. Um, they hit hard, and they're highly susceptible to sleep, so if you happen to come down here at a lower level, uh, just make sure that you're able to uh, put them to sleep. Alright. We see here what looks like two dicks almost touching. Uh, clearly those continents are very close together. You don't want to spend too much time right on the edge. I think it's possible to uh, be attacked by monsters from the other side, uh, from the other uh, western continent there. And you do not want that. They are stronger than you. They can kill you. That is the Dragon Lord's Castle over there. You can't get there without the, fi the MacGuffins. You need to go on the, uh, I think it's two, three, four, f four or five MacGuffin quest. Uh, you see that there's plenty of warlocks around here, uh, or at least some. Uh, warlocks we met in the Rock Mountain Cave. We know how to deal with those. Uh, make sure that you block their spellcasting ability. Or, you know, hit the button by mistake and get lucky. That also works. Another new monster. We have the Metal Scorpion. Uh, they're just like their uh, regular scorpion counterparts, but, uh, you know, stronger. Uh, they only have 22 hit points. Uh, they have an attack of 36, though, and a defense of 42, which is the uh, highest of their monster tier. Uh, speed of 15, so they're not very fast. They can give up to 40 gold, and uh, they give 14 experience. I mean, they're all over the place. They're not that hard. They're not that easy. Uh, I personally think if you're going to call something metal, make it stronger than that. But what do I know? I'm only a doctor. I'm not. I've never practiced medicine. I don't know why I said that. And we've now reached the town of Ramonger. Ah, it's got a little, couple little bridges there. No, I have no tomatoes. I have no tomatoes today. Alright. You can walk from bridge to bridge. Something's wrong with that. Alright. We see the inn here. We have two locked doors and a treasure chest. I wonder what's inside. And an old dude. I like talking to old dudes. You are broken head. It has been long since we last met. Apparently I know you, but I, I don't know you. I think he's after something. He wants something. I remember him. Uh, the scales of the Dragon Lord are as hard as steel. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, I'm afraid of this. I am very afraid of this. Every time I come to town and there's a new weapons and armor shop, I end up having to spend hours grinding for gold. God damn mother fucking son of a whore! Uh, sorry folks, I just, I, I saw that price list and... Oh my god, alright, 1500 for the broadsword, I understand. 7,700 for the next level of armor. Good gracious. Yeah, no kidding, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money to be breathing the air in that shop. Well, let's see what everyone else has to say. She's got friends. Apparently, I need to prove that I'm Lodo's descendant, because Erdrick doesn't exist. He 
doesn't exist. Over the western part of this island, Erdrick created a rainbow. I've never heard of Erdrick. But Lodo apparently used a rainbow. It is also said that he entered the darkness from a hidden entrance in the room of the Dragon Lord. Alright, I'll look for a darkness in the room of the Dragon Lord. Stones of Sunlight in Tantagel Castle? What are Stones of Sunlight? All true warriors wear a ring. Yeah, see, there was that fighter's ring. But again, it doesn't do anything. The enemy's going to arrive. Well, I mean, that would make sense. Heed my warning, travel dot to the south, for there are monsters. The monsters are fierce and terrible. Okay. Fierce and terrible. Uh, in this world, is there any sword that can pierce the scales of the Dragon Lord? We had a guy uh, criticizing our weaponry earlier. Have I found a magic temple? I don't think so. Go to the south. Okay, where I was warned not to go. All right, so the sun and the rain meet. We've heard of a staff of rain, which I confirmed is a MacGuffin. And now we've heard of stones of sunlight, which are a MacGuffin. So you get the MacGuffin with the other MacGuffin to get the something. Spoiler alert, the something is another fucking MacGuffin. It's literally, you get three MacGuffins in order for an old man to give you the fourth MacGuffin. I am Orwick, and I am waiting for my girlfriend. Oh, well, good for you. Orwick, was it? Orwick. All right. Orwick's got game. Orwick's getting late tonight. If his girlfriend ever shows up. And, you know, he... Better play it right. Oh my god, a secret shop! What could be here? Magic keys! Yes! How many magic keys can I have? As many as you want. I didn't see how much they were. But I'm spending as much money as I can on them. You can't sell me anymore. What? 53. 53 gold to get a magic key. Now let's see. We can have up to six. Now we can get stuff. Now if we could go that way around the town, what's stopping us from going this way? We're going to find out what's in that chest. <laughs> Orwick went to the wrong place. I mean, how do you screw up northeast from southwest? That's great. Orwick's not getting delayed. Orwick's getting dumped. Now we can finally open doors. And this old man says he's Howard four steps south of the bath in coal, thou shalt find a magic item. That is how you're supposed to find out about the fairy flute bones. By opening that door. And this treasure chest, what do we have? Sadness! It's just wings. We spent 53 gold on wings. I mean, technically, we had to open two doors to get it. So that means we spent 106 gold on a set of fucking wings that are only worth 70 gold.
And unfortunately, this game is so old that you have to buy everything one at a time. So that is going to do it for today, folks. Uh, feel free to join us next time as we are going to check out a couple different areas. Um, when I come back, I will have already accumulated uh, enough gold for uh, the broadsword, uh, which is going to be the first purchase I make. And we're actually going to do a special... Uh, uh, grinding episode, a sort of an intro to grinding, uh, where I am going to run around and take you to the best place in the game to get gold, uh, and show you how much quicker it can be in theory, uh, given that I need some 7,700 to get that magic armor, I'm probably not going to take you through all of it, just, you know, probably about 15 minutes. Uh, my average video length. And uh, so I will see you then. Until next time, stay frosty.